Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm about to do what I think is one of the most exciting pours, which is a pour with no expectations using purely leftover paints. So I've done several, I think two, two or three um, landscape and seascape pours recently. So I've got just a little bit of lots of colours left um, and they're mixed with PVA glue and water. They're mixed quite to a, quite a runny consistency. I've been doing a lot of... Um, um, flip cups and ribbon pours and then til tilting the paint off the edge. So I'm going to do something similar, but I think I'm going to do lots of little tiny ring pours. So I get a bit of a design and um, and have like a gradient of colours. So I've got blues and greens and then I've got blues, purples, pinks and oranges. So a kind of rainbow, a kind of gradient of little ring pours. I think um, I'll, I'll start and just see what happens and just see where the paint takes me. Look at all these leftovers. Oh, there's also some silver and black there as well. There's only a little bit of paint in each cup. So probably, maybe, not, probably not even a centimetre, half a centimetre. Some of them, there's more. There's a lot more of that blue. Um, there's quite a bit of orange. There's hardly any of the dark teal. Um, so just little bits of paint, which you might ordinarily think, well, there's not enough to save. But actually, if you put all the little bits of paint together, suddenly you've got actually quite a bit of paint. Um, so I'm going to do a graduation. So I've got the greens and blues, bit of blue and purple, and then the pinks and oranges. So I'm going to layer up some little tiny paper cups and I think do some little ring pours. I'm not, you know, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how many of these I'm going to get filled because I don't really know how much paint I've got here. So I'm just going to fill up what I've got with what I've got then see how many cups I've got filled up and then decide on my canvas shape, my canvas size once I've done that. So I'll start this end. Um, so I'll start with the dark colours and then I'm just going to have a, a graduation of colours. I have managed to fill eight little cups and eight cups, if I'm doing flip cups, is what I would use for this size canvas, which is the 25 by 50. So I've changed my mind. I'm going to do the flip cups. It's a graduation. I'm going to do flip cups and then tilt off the edges. So I hopefully will get some quite nice straight lines. Now, I have put a little bit of white in every cup. And can you see what's happened? here the white it's Montmartre white and it's reacting very much with the other colors so I'm really concerned that the white is going to dominate and take over but I might just get some pretty effects from the white I'm not sure but I think it's just going to be too there's going to be too much going on if I try and do ring pours and then tilt them um the by we're tilting them so much it will distort anyway so I'm forgetting my ring pours I'm going for my good old fashioned flip cups Very runny consistency, which is why this paint is going everywhere. That's better, I've got the wrong angle, that's better. And then, so they're all flipped and now I'm just gonna drag them over. Wow, wow, already I am loving this. Wow. Right, there's plenty of paint on here, probably a bit too much, but that's, that's fine. I'm just going to try and cover this edge and this corner because this is the bit that is really difficult to get. This is the bit that always gets missed. And the same up here. Right, 
Right, uh, let's give it a torch. There's a few air bubbles. There's some crazy things happening here. Massive cells. The white hasn't dominated, which I'm really pleased about. So I'm going to just tip it towards me just to get that covered. And then tip it away from me. So yeah, look, this, this bit down here isn't cut and covered. So let's just give that a little help. But the, I know that there is so much paint on here that I can do this and I can tilt it right back again. Right, still struggling with this corner here. Again, there's so much paint, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna get this covered down here and then bring it back. I'm gonna go to the other end, get the other corner covered and then straighten it all up again. Right, I'm now I'm just going to get rid of that big white cell there that's uh, dominating and then I'm going to tip it back towards me. In fact, I'll turn it round though so you can see what I'm doing. Right, only bit I'm not happy with this is this bit right in the centre. Something weird is going on with that blue. I think what I might do is add a little bit more paint over the top here and then tilt it again. Now, the only other thing I'm considering is doing putting some chameleon cells on. I'm just wondering about just doing a few little extra cells. Or would that spoil it? I've got some massive white cells here, which do look a little bit odd. So if I did a few little extra cells, I think that might just blend in a little bit. So to do that, I'm just using coconut milk hair serum. So I'm just going to put a little bit onto my workbench. And I'm just using a jumbo push pin. I'm just going to dip the end in. I'm just going to do a few cells here. Let's see what happens. So basically just where the these massive white cells are. Right, that has changed it massively. So it's now not quite so sort of tranquil and relaxing, but I quite like it. Let me do some through this bit here. I'm basically just doing it on the bits that I don't like as much. How different is this? I have never done anything quite like this before. Really loving it, really happy. I'm stopping with my cells because what I'm really liking is cells and then the straight lines and then cells and then the straight lines. So you can tell the mixture is really runny because look how they've distorted. 
So this is deliberate. I want them to distort and I want them to stretch. And look at these ones. They're massive. So they may actually fall over the edge. In fact, one thing to do just to check, just check there's no paint along that edge to pull that pull that off over the edge. Um, I've done two lines here, two lines here, one line, one line, three, one and three. So different amounts of dots. I love this effect. This is really, really cool. Love the colours. Really hope that doesn't go over the edge there, but I think it probably will end up. Wow, really happy with this. What a wonderful surprise. Something totally, totally different. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. I can't help but smile when I see it or even laugh because it's nuts. It's absolutely crazy, but I love it. I'm so happy. Um, it's, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just, it's one of a kind. Um, I had this up originally, I had it up in this direction and my daughter has said, look at the teeth. <laughs> so now it, to me, those bits there, they just look like an x-ray of teeth. Um, what I'm really happy with is you've got the light, you can still see the, cut, the lines in between, but can you see each band of cells seems to go smaller at the edges, probably where there's less paint, and then they, it really expands in the centre. So there's a quite a nice bowed effect for most, most of the bands of cells. It was a really thin consistency, which is why the cells are huge. Um, but what a cool effect, what a fun fun effect it was. I think I'm going to do a, something again, similar, maybe a slightly thicker consistency, but um, another um, flip cup, graduated flip cup like this. So it's like a rainbow, but without all the colours. So I, I really, really like it. I think I prefer it horizontal like this, but maybe that was just because that, that was the way I poured it. Um, not sure. What do you think? Horizontal or portrait? I'm not sure. This is a bit more typical of my um, sort of sunset and sea. So it could be like an ocean sunset, but very, very abstract. Um, what do you think? Let me know. Um, pretty unusual painting, this one. Great. Thanks so much for watching. If you like it, please do hit the thumbs up button and please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.